Welcome back to Wise Man Company, everyone. I am Ben Brown. Thank you to everyone out there that has bought stuff off our website, split fixes, slings, wise guy pocket tools. Thank you so much. This is part three of the Archon Type B video. Uh, this is probably gonna be the last video for the Archon. Um, coming off the last video, there was a couple things that I didn't like about the Archon, not really the Archon's fault. Uh, one being the texture, two, I wanted to mount a dot. There was no way to mount a micro red dot on top. I needed to send it out for, for the slide to get cut. Um, not a lot of people doing that right now. Uh, Archon's pretty new, so finding someone to cut the slide, and from my understanding, I think the cut has to be very, very shallow for a dot to go on this slide. Fortunately, Mac Defense reached out to me and said, hey, we saw you have an Archon. We know that you'd like some texture on it. By the way, we're also cutting for red dots. Would you be interested in that? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. I love the gun already. Uh, those are two things that would most likely improve it. And they did. After I got it back, I've had two or three solid range sessions with the Archon. Um, and let's talk about what they did to it. Mac Defense did a Swamp Donkey <laughs> grip texture on here. Yep, it's called Swamp Donkey. And it's pretty aggressive, just how your mother likes it, Trebek. This grip texture is really, really good. It works really well. I mean, this thing sticks to your hands. And they put it in all the traditional places. So obviously it's around the grip, not too high on the grip. But they also put it underneath the trigger guard and over here towards the front where you'd see like accelerator cuts, things like that. I like texture out here. It gives me a little bit of a pressure point, but more than anything, it is more of a contact point for me. So I know my grip's in the right spot. I know that everything is lined up. It's where it should be. It's really just a point of reference for me. I don't really use it to press down on the gun, but I can if I want to. There's enough texture there that it would work. So this is the Swamp Donkey texture. They do a bunch of different types of textures and they work on Glocks, uh, CZs, m ps They work on all sorts of stuff. Uh, they did a phenomenal job on this. Very clean lines and it's filled in immaculately. Just a great job. That original grip texture wasn't any good. Didn't really do anything for me. This is actually really, really nice. I do carry it inside the waistband so it can be a little abrasive on your skin but if you wear an undergarment or you're just used to carrying a gun like that, it's really not that bad. So it's aggressive enough to work, but not so aggressive where it's gonna rub you raw. All right, let's talk about the RMR I have on top of here. This is an RMO6, for those of you that are gonna wonder. This is a smaller dot than what I carry on my Glock 45. That's an RMO7, slightly bigger dot on that one. This one's smaller. I'm digging the smaller dot. This cut is very shallow on this slide, and to my understanding, again, I think it needs to be shallow because of the internals of the slide. So as you can see here, it's just cut into the slide, but underneath the RMR is their titanium plate. This is a buffer between the slide and the dot, ensuring that that battery is gonna stay connected up inside the RMR. Uh, for those of you that don't know, sometimes with the RMRs, the original RMRs, they had connection issues with the different batteries, depending on what battery you used. The Type 2s, to my understanding, have corrected that problem. This is a Type 1, and no dot flickering, no issues. I have probably a thousand rounds through this gun since it has come back, somewhere between 750 and a thousand. And again, no issues, the dot's been on, good brightness, nothing to complain about. It's, it's doing its job, so. This is a really, really great addition to this gun. It already shoots very flat, very accurately, and y'all know I love a good dot. Adding a dot on here just kicked it up a notch. I'm really, really glad I did this. I did use this gun in the tactical games because it was iron sights only, and at the TAC games you have to use iron sights only, so this probably won't make another appearance at the tactical games again since I've committed it to that dot life. Uh, but I'm not sad about it. I really, really like putting a dot on here. This gun is very, very shootable. Again, it shoots very, very flat. You get a really high grip on it, and that bore axis is really low. As far as reliability goes, it's still going strong. I haven't cleaned it yet. Um, I have lubed it, but I haven't cleaned it. 
I wouldn't say I'm scared to clean it because I think something's gonna happen, but I really have no reason to. I mean, I sh any striker fired handgun, you can shoot for a long, long time without cleaning it and you shouldn't have issues as long as you're lubricating it. And I'm right around 5,000 rounds plus and Again, just lubrication, still going strong. I shot all sorts of ammo through it. Recently, I've been shooting that brown bear stuff, the, the lacquer coated casings, real nasty stuff. This thing chews it up, no problem. In addition to that, brown bear, I ran some more defensive ammo through it because that always is has potential to hang guns up because of the projectile itself. Park on type B, got some critical duty loaded up in here and spear gold dot 147 grain. So, expensive ammo, let's see how it likes it. Bad, not bad. And again, no issues, chewed it up, spit it out, no problems at all. So, I'm feeling really, really confident about the Archon. Where do we go from here? That's the big question. And I think I'm gonna conceal carry this gun. When I swap guns a lot, I can see my skills depreciate a little bit until I get acclimated to the handgun. But switching between the Glock 45 and this, I don't see much skill depreciation. They kind of shoot the same for me. The dot comes up in the same place. Grip angle is kind of similar. I don't have finger grooves. It, it's, it works well switching back and forth between the two. So I'm gonna conceal carry this a while, a while and rotate in the G45 as I see fit. Uh, I got six mags for this gun, so I should be good to go. And again, this will probably be the last full length video on the Archon. You will see it, see it towards the end of this year in my favorite handguns of 2019. Spoiler alert, sorry, but this is gonna make the list. This has been a great gun. It's not new for 2019, but 2019 is the first time I really got my hands on it and got to shoot it a lot. And honestly, I'm glad I bought this. I really, really am. This was a great pickup. I know the initial cost of the Archon is scary for some folks. It's around 800 bucks but you're getting a lot of stuff right out of the box. You're getting four mags, great sights, great trigger, a reliable handgun in my personal experience, and that is only a test of one person, but again, it's been reliable for me. So 800 bucks, I think it's worth it. I've put easily that kind of money into Glocks in the past. Uh, so for those of you shopping around for an Archon or on the fence, I'd say go for it. It's a great, great pickup. For those of you wondering, I was carrying it around inside the waistband in a QVO tactical holster. This is their more discreet holster. Roger over at QVO tactical is a great guy. He makes great holsters. And uh, this one is multi-cam black. You can see the little orange wing here on the side. Kind of kicks that butt to where it needs to be, the butt of the handgun to where it needs to be. Uh, this has been a great holster, good retention on it. There's Again, there's not a lot of aftermarket support for the Archon right now because it's very new. So. If I can help you guys find parts and pieces, holsters for it, I'm gonna do that. And QVO Tactical, they're making holsters inside the waistband and outside the waistband for the Archon Type D. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Appreciate the support. Again, go over to wisemancompany.com. A lot of great gear over there, and that's the best way to support us. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're growing very rapidly. My name's Ben Brown. We'll see you on the next video.